Welcome everybody, I am Alexander Inz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com, reporting live from Basel 2019 with me, Rolf Bergmann. Welcome. Welcome. He, the, he's the chief technical officer of Porsche Design Timepieces. So we are almost in a car. Yes. The sound of a car. There was a sound of a car shortly. Oh, yeah. nice. Huh? <laughs> We're almost in a car. Boom. Yeah. I didn't ask for it. Yeah, nice. But uh, perfect. Perfect. It's perfect uh, yeah. timing. Yeah. Perfect timing. And um, I would like to uh, tell you a little history about uh, a watch that has quite of a tradition uh, at Porsche Design timepieces. Already in the year 1995, uh, when at the time uh, Porsche Design still was together and uh, manufactured by IWC Schaffhausen, they introduced the first world timer, 1995. Yes, correct. That's what 1995. <laughs> it's incredible. Yes. Time Time is rushing. Nice little watch. This was a big watch, by the way, huh, at the time. But yes. uh, today? Yeah, today it would be a little watch, yes. It would be kind of a <coughs> yeah. lady's size. Uh, followed by uh, this uh, world timer. You compare the sizes and you know what was going on. 2007, 1995. So a new world timer that was presented in 2007. A very nice, very, yes. let's say, that's a, that was a statement on the wrist. You agree, yes. huh? That was a cool watch. Uh, we, have, we have had a lot of customers, they liked it. And um, the design was unique, the functionality was unique, it was a mechanical movement with a pre-adjustment of the time zone and you could easily set it by pressing a button and the pusher and then it will it jumps precisely to the hour of your destination where you arrived. And that was a uh, very good uh, functionality. And of course, the, ev uh, the Evolution uh, 2019 are the watches that are here in front of us. Yes, exactly. It's the new... That's the 1919 Globetimer UTC. So we considered about the uh, two world timers we knew from the past and uh, brought in a little more functionality. The aim was to get a very good operability so that you do not have to unscrew, unscrew a crown or handle a corrector. We just set the local time for traveling using two pushers that we always good knew by our chronograph. So we a chronograph company and we know pushers and therefore we took the pushers from the case that we normally have for the chronographs for setting the local time plus and minus. You have to know that um, there are uh, so-called UTC GMT watches out there in, uh, uh, on the market you can't use in reality because uh, whenever uh, you wear such a watch, uh, the anachronistic thing is if you go on a dial, it's written chronometer certified. So you buy a precise mechanical wristwatch. Yes. You set the time at home. You adjust the time to be accurate, even the second hand uh, swipes over the dial, everything is perfect. Then you travel and when traveling you don't want to lose correct time because if you just uh, get in the plane in Zurich and you fly to New York and you just need to adjust six hours, it makes no sense that you, are, as you said, you yes. unscrew the crown, yes. you pull the crown and the watch stops the watch to stops. reset it yes. and there are so many of those UTC GMT watches out there where it happens, so it makes absolutely no sense. You adjust and you synchronize home time with yes with uh, local time yes. and once traveling. No. The home time will be fixed. You can easily set the local time by using the pushers. Can you try to zoom in a little bit so we can see the movement? You do not have to un unscrew the crown. You do not have to stop the watch. And also when you're traveling in a car through a different time zone, you can easily press the button and adjust one hour forward or backward what you need. When you try to cross the states in car. Yes, that was uh, immediately important for us. So, very well thought yes. in terms of uh, how uh, such a watch would be, yes. I would say. And the same system or the, the whole system is uh, very stable in construction. So, we, the requirement was to push it at least more than 10,000 times. So, you can push it heavily. It will not break down. We tested it in the laboratory. The whole case is dynamical water resistant, so you can also push it under water. Mm. Or if you have unscrewed the crown and by accident you go under the shower, we'll, you will have not a problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. So the, the, the watch is perfectly sealed. And um, it's a screwed crown anyway. It's a screwed crown, oh, okay. yes, it's a screwed crown. And you 
we use the crown only to set the what the first time, the date mm -hmm. and the, oh, the to normal, wind it the, in case. Yes, to wind it, okay. yes, and to wind it. But it's also an automatical movement mm -hmm. and it's winded automatically. Mm -hmm. So and um, so the sapphire crystal is seven times anti-reflex coated and additionally sides. hard coated on both sides so that the reflex coating cannot disappear um, when you use it all day. The case is made from titanium with a little polished container here at the at the top. And uh, it came up with two variations in leather strap, in the black and the brown version. The leather is uh, automobile leather from the Porsche 911, what we use in the sports cars. We also put here on the bracelet. And um, additionally to these two leather versions, we have the version with the titanium bracelet, with a nice blue colored dial and the fully titanium bracelet with a titanium folding claps with a fine adjustment so that you could easily with a slider adjust the bracelet by seven steps so nearly 10 millimeters to fit it perfectly to your wrist depending on the temperature outside yes and your mood like i am wearing here you can easily yeah, yeah I see. little pre-adjust i see fits well fits quite good sure it? yes cufflinks yes of course porsche design <laughs> really porsche design <laughs> and the yes. pen and the pen everything is porsche design. everything is porsche design not so Additionally to this uh, 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 three versions, we have one additional version in mm. rose gold okay. because it, there was a history. All these both watches were done in rose gold, and therefore we did it. We decided to do it in the future also. Um, yes, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So yeah, I really like the functionality. Uh, this is well thought through because uh, something I really cannot, uh, I do not understand the manufacturer. Bringing a travel uh, uh, UTC GMT watch to the markets and still not being able to change the hours without uh, the, 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 uh, the hours uh, without being able, uh, without losing time is for me this is a absolutely no go. Yes. So the whole movement is uh, certified by the Swiss Chronometer Certification yes. Organization, so-called COSC, and very cool is that the date is linked to the local time. So when yeah, you step sense. around yeah. at midnight, the date yeah. jumps forward and, and backward. There is also a little indication, day-night indication, yes. so you easily know if it's day or night, so you don't have to try around. It's indicated yes. by the little. Yes, and the aim was to create a watch which is very easily to set, to use, yes. without reading a manual, and which give a very high functionality and uh, reliability to the customer at the end of the day. It will not break down, also with the water protection and uh, really titanium case. That's it's now certified. Porsche design. It's now certified by Lindt. <laughs> yes, because I'm you very can, uh, critical. No, I'm very, really very critical. I cannot stand these watches that really don't work on the in, 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 in reality. So it's, 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 I don't know, people design watches, they never travel probably. And then they try to argue, yes, but if I sit in the office and uh, I want to know what time it is where, where my friend lives, and I always say, come on, try to find a better excuse. Um, Price-wise, where do we uh, position those watches? Yeah, price-wise, we are positioned under 6,000 euros. So these leather versions, we have 5,950 euro at retail. Including TV, Including uh, the, the, the tax, tax okay. yes. With the titanium version, we are uh, a little bit higher. We are with uh, 6,450 euro. And we think that you will get a lot of watch for your money. It looks like. Yes. <laughs> the bracelet is, is impressive. Huh? It's an it's impressive uh, bracelet. Absolutely. But it uh, fits quite perfect. Yeah, no, it, it's uh, that's really that's a statement. It feel, feel, feels very good. Yeah, that's really a statement. And the gold version? The gold version, due to the uh, golden case, we are approximately with... Uh, 29,500 euro. 29,000, yes. Oh. Will it be a gold buckle also? Yes, okay. the, the, the buckle will be in gold and the, the case is a, three, three, uh, um, a case made of three different parts. The middle part, the container and the case back and uh, therefore it must be massive gold. Yeah, yeah, we cannot uh, lighten it. And, uh, wow. Yes, that's the collection around traveling for Porsche design in 2019 at Basel World, so it's 1919 Globetimer UTC. 1919 Globetimer Globe UTC. UTC, yes. Awesome. With a nice design of the World Timer case. That's it. Thank you very much. You did even You're a final. Welcome. You did even a final uh, Sum up, uh, yes. summary. <laughs> uh, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? No, I'm doing. It. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Please, that's your job. <laughs> no, normally I do those uh, little summaries. Thank you for doing it for me. Perfect. 
Guys, if you like uh, what we're doing, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like our videos. And of course, please uh, do also check out what we what, check out what we are doing either on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. Thanks for watching and uh, have a closer look on a very intelligent traveling watch uh, that is now approved by me in the sense of that uh, it works. You don't lose time. Well done. Congratulations. Alexander, thanks. <laughs> Bye, guys.